No, I enjoy cooking. And the, the, what I really enjoy the most is like, we get to determine someone's day based off of our food. So if they're having a bad day, some a simple meal could just change their, their whole day. So just put a smile on that face. I'm Joe Mendes, I'm the executive chef for MC Suites and 1887 Social House. Well, I started cooking, uh, my first job was Pizza Hut. I started creating other pizzas that wasn't on the menu and started getting more creative, uh, trying to figure out new ways to make the pizza that's like a double decker, uh, a breakfast pizza. I just wanted to create something different. And I knew that I was gonna be in the restaurant business for a long time. So I went ahead and went to culinary school, the Arts of Dallas. I'm Steve Bautista. I am a chef at 1887 Social House as well as Embassy Suites. I'm also a personal chef. I first started cooking when I was about 10 years old. I watched PBS, actually. I watched The Galloping Gourmet, The Frugal Gourmet, Yan Can Cook, all of those shows back, you know, back then. And being 10 years old, I didn't really equate that my mother had to travel a 45 minute commute to come home and cook for us. All I said was, I'm tired of your cooking, mom. I'll do it. <laughs> Partially because I was tired of her cooking and the other part was I was intrigued by it. I see food as a way to stroke my ego. I'm all about that and there's a lot of chefs that that's what it's about, whether they admit it or not. But the kicker is beyond being able to step back and pat yourself on the back and going, yeah, I killed it. The first step is you putting your love into the food and then presenting it to somebody. And we combined our culinary minds and we're gonna try to make food not look like food. And we're gonna have a caprese salad and it's going to be unlike any caprese salad most likely than anybody in Amarillo has ever seen. Yeah, we're gonna transform the ingredients. Uh, again, a caprese salad has mozzarella or cheese, typically tomato, basil, some uh, balsamic uh, glaze and we're going to transform all those ingredients to something that's different so we're going to make a basil gel we're going to have cubes of the basil gel along with the tomato that looks like a sliced tomato and then as far as the balsamic we're going to make balsamic caviar so we're going to transform the liquid balsamic into little small round balls like caviar so with that you know we're going to just transform the ingredients to be something else, different shapes, different sizes, uh, different textures. What we're going for is to uh, almost assault you on as many senses as we, as we can. So whenever you're looking at a plate, you want to go, wow, this looks cool. To be perfectly honest, and any, any chef who tells you otherwise will, will lie, that's a way you can cheat sometimes. You know, that's a way where it's like, man, it didn't come out quite the way I wanted doesn't quite have that balance, let's go ahead and make sure, sure it looks really, really good, and that helps a little bit. It's another chef is gonna be able to go, that's a little off. The public will go, it looked amazing, it smelled amazing, we had the right ambiance, it tastes amazing. People, people make a great meal. Friends, family, even if they are new to you as far as friends and family, because of that dinner, because of that meal. That's how we connect.